Well, hello again, friends. My name is Reverend Thomas Harper, and I'm the pastor of St. Luke's United Methodist Church in Bryan College Station. And this is Weekly Theistic Reflections, where each week I take a verse of scripture, unpack it a little bit, talk about what's going on in the context of that scripture, talk about how that scripture might relate to what's going on in our world today, or just share some thoughts that I have about that scripture. If you're new here, I invite you to take a look around the channel. Uh, if you like the content, please click like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot, as well as click that notification bell so that you will be notified every single time I post a new video. I post a new video every single Thursday, and as always, if you think someone would benefit from the content of this video, I invite you to share that video with them in order to be a blessing to them. I've entitled this episode, Change the Ending. The scripture that I picked for today is 1 Peter 5, verse 10. The God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. This is the word of God for us people of God. Thanks be to God. And so I really love sports, all kinds of sports, all the major sports, baseball, football, basketball, soccer. And I love sports uh, for the camaraderie, uh, for the um, competition, and most importantly, for the storytelling that sports provides. Because sports are, especially if you follow a certain team, um, are an ongoing story, something that is constantly being told over time. And the great thing about sports is nobody really knows the ending. I think that's something that's unique about sports is that we're all kind of watching it play out in front of us uh, without fully knowing how it's going to end. Full disclosure, um, I am a Astros fan, as you can probably tell. I know a lot has been talked about throughout the league about the Astros since 2017, um, even though I think now we're starting to get, as is normal, more and more information coming out, uh, kind of shedding light further on the story. But that is all important to the context of the story that I want to tell today. Uh, so just last July 11th, the Astros were finishing up a series with the New York Yankees. Um, and it was just the final series before the All-Star break. Uh, the Yankees had taken the first two against the Astros, and they were well on their way to a sweep uh, where they had found themselves five runs down going into the bottom of the ninth. And so as I'm watching this, I pretty much resign to the fate that, uh, okay, Yankees, you got us this time. I mean, I remember Fox, uh, who was showing the game, started showing uh, Astros fans in the stands and just the dejection, and they were starting to play out this story of the Astros going into the All-Star break with a three-game sweep at the hands of the Yankees. But then all of a sudden, something happened. Out of nowhere, Guriel gets a blooper off of his bat and legs out what is almost a bunt single. And after that, Kyle Tucker doubles, putting two men on base. Now it's Chaz McCormick's time, and he doubles, scoring two runs. Now it's Jason Castro's turn, and he hits a base hit flare uh, that allows another person to score. Um, that's five hits out of nowhere. A team that was more or less dead in the water. Put it away. Go enjoy your all-star break. And out of nowhere, we have five straight hits, making the game a lot more interesting. At this point, Maldonado flies out, giving us one out. And here comes Jose Altuve with runners on first and third, down two runs with an opportunity to stage an incredible, unpredictable comeback and walk off on the Yankees. A lot has been going on surrounding Altuve and walk-offs back in 2019. You had this great historic moment where Altuve hit the walk-off off the Yankees in order to take them back to the 2019 World Series. And even going on during this game, there's more going on to the story because there's lots of this chirping going on and back and forth uh, you know some of it's just the spirit of the competition but uh, lots of trolling going on back and forth and wouldn't you know here you have Altuve the little giant stepping to the plate down two runs he hits a home run walks off in the same fashion and this time when he goes around the base his touches home plate his entire team just shreds his jersey kind of adding on to the story that is continuously being told. But it was a great sports moment. 
It was one of those just random, I mean, the Astros didn't even win the series in the long run. Uh, it probably doesn't mean much to the overall season and how things are going to end in the playoffs where these two teams might meet again and write another chapter in this kind of rivalry story. But for that moment, that sports moment, how the story was supposed to end is not how it ended. The ending was changed. And so I want to take that concept and turn it on what's going on in your life. How is your life going? What's, where is your life currently headed? Because this is very true of the gospel, friends, is that God can change your ending. Uh, you might be suffering from addiction or pain or grief or low self-esteem. Things in your life lately have just not been going the way they're supposed to, and maybe it feels like your ending is inevitable. Maybe it feels like, I'm never gonna break free of this. I'm never gonna feel better about this. I'm never going to be okay again. And God says, no, I'm gonna change your ending. You see that all throughout scripture. Jesus approaching the woman in the well and saying, uh, actually, the person you're living with is not your husband, and you've had five husbands. I want you to imagine what she probably felt about her identity, having been married or divorced that many times. And Jesus blesses her. Jesus gives her living water. Jesus goes to the woman who was caught in the act of adultery and says, my child, this is no longer your identity. Rise up and go no more. Your ending will be changed. God uses people who were murderers, stealers, rapists, some of the worst things that we as a society or a culture would say, that person is written off forever. And God says, no, I'm gonna change their ending. God is in the business of changing endings. And God can use us to be a part of that. God can use us to speak a new truth into somebody, and it may not be a big thing at all. I mean, just think about like the whole, the whole the story of the Astros and Altuve was kind of the big hero, but it took every single other one of those Astros who got hits before him to set that up. Uh, think about if Guriel didn't get that, f didn't run out to first base hard enough when he was down six runs in order to just get that bloop single, and then none of that would have gotten started. And my friends, God has a way of using humans to be a part of eternal work like that. Something you might think is insignificant, just saying, hey, it's gonna be okay. Hey, I'm here for you no matter what, might start a chain reaction that uh, God uses to change someone's ending. Because it's hard to end well sometimes. We get into our ruts, we get into our grooves, we get into our addictions, we get into the things that we are not spending time focusing on that we need to. It's important for us to know that God can pull us out of that. Christ is waiting to change your ending. So make sure we end well. Here's a question that I want you to ponder. How's your life going? Do you feel as though the direction you are headed is inevitable? And ask God to be a part of directing you towards life-giving things. Next week, I wanna talk about why doors have windows. While you're here, I invite you to check out this video. It is a video that I entitled Grace for Today Alone. Uh, just more on this topic about how to walk with God daily, how to not worry too much about your past and your identity and, and what choices have made, brought you to this point, or also looking in the future uh, and being anxious about tomorrow, but just being present with God for today uh, so that he can be the one who directs your ending. And so if you're interested in that, I invite you to take a look at that. If you're in the Bryan College Station area, I invite you to check us out. We have a worship service every single Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We also live stream here via Facebook, so you can visit with us virtually um, and also see different church services as well as these past videos. Just get an idea of what we're about. Um, but we'd love to meet you and do ministry and life with you. But until then, friends, uh, remember that the ending has not been written yet in your life. And God has, through the power of the grace of Jesus Christ, the ability to rewrite your ending, to pull you off of a path that seems inevitable and give you new life. So until then, friends, continue to love each other well. Take care.